It's not the second or third time, but the recent rains have made it the seventh time that some residents in McFarland Crescent in Fairview Parks and Catherine have been flooded out. With no real alternative, the affected persons continue to watch, wait, and hope that the authorities will one day fix the problem. Here's Kirk Wright with their story. Margaret Holmes is heading for the history books as one of the persons who has been flooded out the most in recent times. For years, Miss Holmes has been living on the edge, praying every day the rains don't come. Sunny days are just temporary relief for Miss Holmes, but when the rains finally come, her house is transformed. Nothing at ground level is spared. The water takes over, permeating every crevice of the house, leaving her watching helpless. After the floodwaters subside, they usually leave their mark all around. There's mud everywhere. Miss Holmes won't be having a bath anytime soon. Once again, with the help of good neighbors, they try to get rid of the muddy water, hoping to return her home to some sense of normalcy. Every year, she has to throw away items from the house that have suffered water damage. Now just look around. There's furniture packed up in every corner of this house. And I can tell you, arguably, no one else has suffered such a battering from heavy rains that have pelted this island in recent times. We asked Miss Holmes if she can recall the number of times that she has been flooded out. Let me see. 2016 once, last year, September, October 5, and now, so that's what, seven. Mm -hmm, seven years. The question then is, why stay? Because I don't have anywhere else to go. This is my home, you know, and... Um, what can I say? I'm retired now and um, looking forward to relaxing my home, refurbish the home and everything, and um, this is what is happening to me. But make no mistake, Miss Holmes has tried selling the house. Last year, August, I put up the house for sale, and by September I was flooded out, so I had to withdraw. The, um... Nobody would buy this. No, it cannot be sold. It Miss Holmes is not the only one on McFarlane Crescent in Fairview that's affected when it rains. Mr. Patrick Blake, who lives next door, has a similar story. He has always been prepared for the rains. In his house, pieces of furniture have been packed up for over three years, but not everything can be secured from the water. How many times can you remember no, sir. you've I been stopped, flooded out? I stopped counting them. To be honest, I've been over here from 82, and it has been a lot of flooding. The amount of time I stopped making record of the amount of time I am flooding. That's just it. The residents tell us the area floods when a pond in the community begins to overflow. The Member of Parliament, Christopher Tufton, is aware of the problem and visited the community recently. Are you now feeling any, getting any feeling of hope that something tangible will be done this time around? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm hoping because I spoke to him because the thing is, if, if um, if they can, you know, buy the house back from me and, you know, do something with it for, to, to ensure that the water, the place is not flooded, you know. I don't know what they can do. Knock down the place, let the water run through, I don't know. But I need to move. I really need to move. Because I cannot, I, cannot, I cannot go another year with it. Mr. Blake agrees, but also suggested another approach. My solution is that if they try and find a way to get the excess water when the pond is filled, just make an outlet. I think it, they can try that for, for the first step. But each time they come, they, do, they, they, they say they fix it. They dredge the pond once, and I told them, say, dredging the pond won't help because the water will still come and it will, will be filled up. And that's the same thing happen, keep happening each time. This nearby house is where Mr. Blake and Miss Holmes seek shelter when their houses are flooded. And with the weather forecast predicting more rain, they could be heading back here soon. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.